So this is a very basic uh, SPI communication example. In this case, I am using a microcontroller as the master and SPI debugger as the slave device in Proteus simulation and uh, code in micro C very simple code. Uh, here uh, SS1 is for uh, slave selection pin 1 and setting the direction here and then uh, when uh, just before the initialization of SVI this uh, disable the or uh, deselect the uh, slave module then set the direction and then initialize the SVI. Afterwards, uh, when we need to uh, send uh, information or send uh, some value or write something to the slip device, we need to select that uh, slip device by setting that pin 0 because it is actually uh, active low slip selection pin. So, here I am uh, doing the same thing and I am sending a value here value 1 and incrementing that value 1 in every 2 seconds. So, let us see in simulation what happens. Uh, here in port yes when I simulate it uh, first uh, it is receiving 1 then 2 and after 2 seconds uh, is receiving 3 and gradually the value is incrementing just like the code. So, this is actually very simple uh, one to communicate with a single SPI uh, slave device. Now, let us see if uh, we have multiple uh, slave devices then what we can uh, do or what method we can follow. So, in this case uh, we are using only uh, or we are using only two slip SPI modules here. So, slip selection pin 1 which is actually just like the before uh, the pin RC0 and another pin I put it in RB0 uh, another for uh, SP SS2. Now, let us see in the code what the changes we need to do. First uh, additional the slip selection pin and direction same thing same just uh, same uh, following the same procedure like before and in one I am sending variable information and in a second uh, slip device just sending a fixed uh, variable or fixed uh, information to that slip. Now, see in simulation what happens if we, uh, in simulation what we see in SS1 this is receiving 1, 2 and incrementing the value and SS2 which is actually receiving only one digit of the value a what we are sending it from the code. So, Similarly, if we need to interface multiple SPI slave devices, we can uh, use this multiple slave device and connect them to same same data communication pins. I mean the data in, data out SCK or missing also SCK or SD, uh, I, SCL or SDO whatever you call it, but you need to increment the uh, slave selection pins to se select that particular slave sensor or slave uh, module SPI module. Okay. So, this way you can uh, interface with um, multiple SPI slave devices using one master device here. If you need to interface with the sensors in that case uh, you may need to pro process with uh, uh, the particular sensor communication method say uh, some sensors activate or returns value after uh, a commanding value and some sensor automatically returns a value without any uh, receiving command. So, it actually depends on the device you are interfacing. So, it is uh, depending on the situation there. So, this is a very uh, simple example with SPI communication. I think uh, this will be very uh, educative and easy to understand for you. See you soon with uh, another tutorial. Uh, thank you.